Uh, Virtua Paintball. So Virtua Paintball is uh, a new, unreleased, uh, still in the beta phases, uh, new, I don't know, video game. They said they were going to release it for all platforms. Uh, it looks really good, though. But we're not really here to specifically talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, them getting sued. Zebra Studios, the gaming company founded by professional paintball players, Brett Messer and Remy Lacombe, and the creators of the newly announced Virtua Paintball game, wishes to inform our supporters and values advertising partners of a recent legal proceeding initiated against us. Uh, so essentially, we have, well, this is right here. We have been made aware that a lawsuit has been filed by Virtue Paintball, alleging that our Virtua Paintball infringes upon their trademark. And apparently the first time they talked about this uh, was at World Cup last year. So like, you know, six months ago-ish or something like that. Uh, so this was the first thing they posted, and there wasn't a whole bunch of information in here. It just talks about how they're going to, well, I don't know, continue developing the game and stuff like that. Uh, and then they posted this. Uh, Yesterday, our efforts to defeat a preliminary injunction sought by Virtue failed. The judge ordered that we cease the use of Virtue's brand name that we have already agreed to do. Which seems kind of weird. You know, maybe that's just the legal way of saying, like, you legally have to. You know, your word's not good enough, so they have to, like, the judge has to tell you. We felt a preliminary injunction was unnecessary as we already agreed to cease use of the name. And the hearing itself bearing bears considerable cost for both parties. This is to say nothing of the $10 million, yes, $10 million in damage virtue seeks from us for litigation con from us as litigation continues but this is yeah these are just my comments of what this was like uh this was in november this was like november 30th so this was pretty much right after world cup yeah if you guys aren't familiar virtua paintball uh it's a bit confusing because there's also a paintball company called virtual paint virtue see it's already bad to me, Virtua Paintball was confusing right away, right? I still want to say Virtue Paintball. And it's confusing in two ways, right? I said in the beginning of that last little clip, it's Virtual Paintball because that was actually a thing as well. It's kind of like faded off now. It was a game a long time ago. But that even makes it confusing. And then now we have Virtue Paintball and Virtual Paint... Virtue... It's already, it's already bad. We have Virtue Paintball and then Virtua Paintball. And the crazy thing is that their booths were apparently right next to each other at World Cup, so it was very odd. Uh, and I just think it's really, really crazy to name your brand that. It just seems so odd to me. Uh, you got to make it something different and unique, right? It'd be like if some random company in paintball started a paintball brand that was called like Paintball Helped My Life or like Paintball Something My Life. It's like, you know, that's very, very similar to my name. And I just find it very odd. It's not like a good way to do branding or marketing or anything because it's going to confuse your customer, right? I mean, obviously, they're two totally separate products. But if you don't have like a ton of back knowledge on what Virtua is and what Virtua is, it just seems like it's going to be very confusing. I would assume the part that people are most upset about uh, is going to be that $10 million. Like, I truly don't understand that. Like, that's just crazy to me. Like, why they're seeking damages in the first place, I don't know. I mean, I I don't think that Virtue's lost any business or any money as a result of Virtua Paintball. Uh, so that part's a little bit weird to me. And I don't know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I know a lot of people are upset at this and upset at Virtue about this, which, you know, I don't know. I... I don't think that, you know, it makes any sense to sue them for $10 million. I totally get like being like, dude, stop using that name. It makes no sense. Like it's, it's not good for you. It's not good for us. Like it's just odd, but $10 million, it seems a little wild. You know, it reminds me, uh, obviously very much about, you know, smart parts. And even if smart parts back in the day when they started suing everybody, even if they were in the right, you know, even if smart parts had the, you know, legal standing and, you know, they were in the right the whole time. It's very difficult because uh, you just lose the popular opinion, right? I mean, everybody hated smart parts. Dark rendition with their five dollars. And I for I I I I got oh you you actually did leave that one earlier. 
I still got you though. I'm gonna go. I'll read you. Uh, yeah, even though you know they might both 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 the companies Virtue and Smart Parts might be in the right, they're certainly losing the public opinion. I mean, everybody's super mad at Virtue. So.